Hello and welcome to the channel. If you love most things in the 1980s but not limited to, then search no further. You've come to the right place, so please subscribe. Thank you. Folks, this is it. We're getting back into the last two final tracks of the Yes album, Fragile. Bam, right here. And I'm going to start out with Mood for a Day, which is pretty short. It's only about three minutes long. And then we're going to kick into Heart of the Sunrise, which is just over 11 minutes. So that should be one hell of a ride here. So... Let's get right into this, guys. This is the last two off this album. Uh, repeating myself. And I'm going to give my top three off of this album after we're done. So let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's do it. Very excited. We're going to move in to the uh, to the third album that you guys have been wanting me to do. And uh, just further down the yes rabbit hole. So, guys, let's go. Mood for a day. Got us a little solo here. That was pretty. Alright guys, this is it. Heart of the Sunrise. This is the closer. I might have to buckle in for this one. Thank you. 
love, I love the keys building up over here. I'm really digging what Chris and uh, Bill are putting down right now. All those ghost notes on the snare. Two minutes into this, this is uh, instrumental. lyrics, okay. Listen to that distortion on that bass.
man, they are all over the place on this thing. second guys what was that at right in that little count right there was cool as shit sorry one more time that is so badass Love what Bruford's doing right there through this whole part of it. Love, love comes to you, and then after dreams, onto the heart of the sunrise.
All right, guys, that's it. Holy crap, dude. Let me, uh, let me get everything squared away here while my brain's still functioning correctly. Man, that song was an absolute trip, man. Absolute trip. Mm, mm. All right, where are we at here? Okay. First of all, mood for a day. Very cool. Very pretty. Very, um, very melodic. Just a nice little, kind of a nice little calm before the storm. Because Heart of the Sunrise was an absolute beast. I'm trying to think of the. I'm trying to think of the song. Uh, it means, uh, it was, uh, Latin for, um, Time Flies, uh, uh, something Fugit off of the, off of the, uh, first album that I listened to with them with, uh, the guy from the Buggles, I'm sorry, but that's, that's how, that's how Heart of a Sunrise just hit me, because I was not expecting that at all, man. At first I thought it was just going to be an instrumental, which would have been great, but those vocals were just insane, man, and some of the timing that, uh, uh, some of the timing that was going on with John Anderson with his lyrics, I thought was so cool. And what Br Bruford and um, and how uh, I'm sorry, not how, what Bruford and Squire were doing through most of that song was just absolutely insane. I love that that hard uh, distortion that he had going on on that bass was so cool. And then of course when when uh, Bruford how and Squire were all doing that digga 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 that was just that was seriously badass all right guys it's time i gotta give these three out or i'm never gonna get off here that was an awesome song i'm gonna check this one out again so awesome that it did make my top three uh roundabout is gonna be is my favorite off this album and if i had to guess i would say just about everybody would pick roundabout to be their number one off this album that song is just absolutely insane uh i'm gonna give my number two slot to heart of the sunrise this was a freaking major badass song the only thing that kills me is this thing's over 11 minutes man you got to be really willing to just sit down and listen to this bad boy and focus because there's so much going on there really is and uh I'm gonna give my three to. I'm gonna give it to Long Distance Runaround. So, Roundabout, Heart of the Sunrise, and Long Distance Runaround. Those are my top three. I liked just about every song off there. There was a couple that were, eh. I didn't not like any of them, but there was a couple that were just kind of ant eh to me. Uh, and that's, I guess, that's typical. That's normal, right, for most people. Unless you're a diehard fan, I think most anybody just listening, uh, just an average guy listening to somebody, you know. Very rare you're going to like the whole album or love the whole album. So, guys, before I keep shoving more feet into my mouth and uh, and talking crazy, let me just get off here. If you guys liked the reaction, liked the video, hey, consider subscribing, hitting the comments, the bells, the likes, and all that good stuff. Until the next one, you guys take care.